We're going to talk about Chelsea because uh, what I was going to say was it's actually a terrific result. One all away to Real Madrid. Absolutely. I said one all last night, didn't yeah. I? I remember that. You did, yeah. That it was. But uh, David tweeted us saying... Good was, result. ...was wondering how you'd put a negative spin on last night's game. It's not a negative spin. It's a terrific result, but it could have been even better, Dave. That's the point. I think even Chelsea fans, I think uh, Chelsea pundits, were actually saying they're happy we won one, but they feel as though they probably should have got more out of the game. Mm. They did. They dominated Real Madrid uh, for most of it. There was a period in the second half where Real Madrid kept the ball but they never looked like punishing uh, Chelsea. Uh, Benzema was the only real player on their side that looked like he could do something special, and he did, uh, with the goal. Um, but I, surely, if you're a fan of Chelsea last night, yes, please, we won one, but slightly disappointed you didn't get another goal or two with a Especially when you think about the chance that Werner had at nil-nil. You know, a, a top striker puts it away. 100%. Harry Kane's there. Mm. Uh, and I'm not saying Harry Kane go to Chelsea, by the way. But I am. I, I'm saying that type of quality striker, right, puts that ball away. There's, there's, there's no doubt whatsoever. Mm. And I think that's what we're talking about here because it's been a problem for Chelsea. This mm. this season or since... Well, getting those strikers working, Havertz and Werner, getting them working properly and functioning properly in the team. There's little positives people are taking, and that's fine. There's no problem with that. Be positive. No worries about that whatsoever. But the negatives are the lack of goals. OK, but you could say, um, on the flip side of this, aid with the team he plays, yeah. because of the movement and the pace, that's what troubled Real Madrid in the first place. And if they would have had an orthodox number nine... Right, it might not have got the same amount of chances because of that movement those three created with the pace and movement. Yeah, I understand. You know where I'm that. From? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. There were lots of things that Werner did right. You know, and on the oh, break, yes. Chelsea were looking fantastic. They played it. The game plan was superb. But when you've got that game plan and you create those chances, you need to take them. And realistically, let's face it. This is this is the truth. The tie should effectively be over by now. That's that's my opinion. Could have easily been with a performance three one Chelsea. Yeah, easy. So if it, you said this to me off air earlier, if Chelsea had Benzema, yeah, I mean you put Benzema in the Chelsea side and he gets that chance, he would yeah. have probably put him away. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I think happy we won one. Uh, a lot of fans will be saying, yeah, good performance, excellent performance last night, but disappointed they didn't come away. And it could have been easily three one. To Chelsea last night. Easy. Um, I'll give you this stat about uh, Tuchel's time in charge. And, and listen, this isn't me saying they shouldn't have got rid of Frank Lampard. It's clear that Thomas Tuchel has done some really positive work since he's got in there. I think he's made them a more effective unit. Um, and it looks like they uh, are going to finish... Well, they've got a good chance of finishing top four. Listen, they're, they're in the semi-finals. They're the treble, aren't they? They're in the semi-finals of the Champions League and have had a great result away to Real Madrid in the first leg of that semi-final and an FA Cup final. So you can't complain at what he's done, and I'm not complaining at what he's done, but could there be better? Yes, and here's the stat. 22 games he's had in charge, Thomas Tuchel. They've scored more than one goal in only nine of those 22 games. Now, this is a top side with a lot of really good attacking players. To score more than one goal in only nine of 22 games under Thomas Tuchel, I think that that's shocking. They've failed to score against Brighton Wolves, United and Porto mm. at home yeah. and leads with, away. With, with the quality he got, but he's getting the performance and he's doing what he had to do when he came in. There was a bit of a panic on one day about where they were going to finish. And so far, it's looking it's looking okay for them. Um, they've got to get into that top four. Absolutely have got to. Um, from the position they're in at this moment in time, it's in their hands. Um, and then the Champions League now, in a position at home, 1-1 one, one versus Real Madrid. A team, though, what scares me, what would scare me if I was a Chelsea fan, and my, well, my two boys are, you know they are, I watched mm. the game with them last night. Um, th what they're saying is because of Real Madrid, with their performances and the amount of goals they can score when they get it right, like a Barcelona can do when they get it right, like a PSG can do when they get it right. What if Chelsea have shown is getting the result, but not always scoring lots of goals when they get it right. So they got the performance spot on last night, yeah, but without the goals. Yep. If Real Madrid get the performance spot on, it comes with goals. Mm. And that's where Chelsea There's needs to be. There's a difference, yes. Uh, doesn't mean that Chelsea aren't going to make it yes. through. I'm still confident they will, actually. I think they Me will. Me too. The way Tuchel will set them up and the, and the way he has the attention to detail, I'd be very surprised if Chelsea don't see the job through from that first leg, one-all draw in Madrid.
I, I think, though, there is a longer-term problem that needs to be addressed in the summer, and that is a goal scorer. It does make me wonder, and I'm not saying Tammy Abraham is the answer to the problem. Um, he obviously you know, doesn't fancy him in that position, does he? I'm would he have scored that Werner chance last night? And I know he missed a sitter at the weekend, but he's come on for a brief moment at the end of the game. You know, it's yeah, it's not really well, fair but, on him but, to judge him on that. And, and that's why it'd be very difficult. If he's not playing every week and you're a goal scorer, you know, you need you need to be trusted, you need to be believed in. And he's probably at a time now where he's snatching at things because he doesn't think his manager believes in him. So, so let me ask you this. Snatch at it. If Werner's getting a lot of chances without scoring the goals, he keeps getting in the team, keeps Looks getting in the team. Looks dangerous, but missing. Yeah. So is that fair on Tammy, who's not getting those chances? Is it fair on Giroud, who's not getting those well, chances? Well, he obviously wants that movement, doesn't he? Which Frank wanted as well, by mm. the way. That's what Frank uh, wanted, didn't he? That movement from the, uh, the front three. And that's why to start, he didn't play Giroud or Tammy, did he? It's a fair point. Right, and then, because we can, I remember doing a show on here saying he needs a centre-forward to come in who can hold up play, you know what I mean, and all the others can play off him. But he seems to have gone back to what Frank were doing with three up top, with that pace, that movement uh, with each other. But it's not really, they're not really scoring the goals they'd want at this moment in time.